Welcome and welcome back, Collective. How's everyone doing? I'm sending you all good vibes and I hope you're feeling great. So today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading. I have created this oracle deck that is called You Are the Key. And this is the deck that we're going to actually be starting with um, doing these pick a card readings. So to start, we are going to energetically be picking a key to open the door to the message that you need to hear. Once we pick the key, then we're gonna draw the cards and you will be able to pick the key and the card that speaks to you the most. So please allow yourself to dip into the pools of energy and feel the wisdom that's there for you. All right, universe, please help us choose the keys meant for these readings. First key, card one is this key right here. Take a look at it, feel it, let it speak to you. Okay, now we're gonna go for key two. Key two, take a look at it, feel it, let it speak to you. Now we're moving into key three. Oop, they're stuck. And here is key three. Feel the energy and let it speak to you. All right, let me move these. Now we have cards one, two, and three that we are going to draw. Universe, please give me card one for the key for card one. Universe, please give me the key for two. And for three. All right, so now as you look at the table, please pick the card and or the key that really speaks to you energetically. And when you're ready, you'll find the timestamps in the description box below. You can also pause the video and continue to meditate on the energy, you know, until you make your selection. Enjoy your reading. Welcome card one to your reading. So let's see what the universe wants to share with you. Necessity and scarcity. So take in this image, take in this energy, resourcefulness, courage, and adaptability. So I feel like you're currently navigating through a phase of necessity and scarcity, of course, symbolized by our opening card here. This card paints a vivid picture of someone in a grocery store meticulously calculating every item they can afford, trying to stretch their limited resources as far as possible. So it's clear. You're currently in a tight spot financially, you know, struggling to make ends meet. And the weight of this situation is very heavy on your shoulders. And I can feel the pressure building up inside of you. Like, how am I going to get through this storm? So let's get some more cards so that we can dive deeper into this message and find out, you know, what is coming all right, universe, please share with us what is coming. What can we expect? What do you want us to know? Six of cups, ooh, goodwill, charity, support. So something good is coming that's going to fix whatever you're dealing with. Breathe. So the universe is saying breathe, trust, and know things are going to work out for you. Trust in yourself. Trust in the universe. Whoa. -hoo! Oh my goodness. Look, look, look. Oh my good. Oh, there's two cards here. Something unexpected is coming. Oh. Your ambitions are brewing. Take a sip and get to work. So the universe has some tea for you. Things are going to get better. You are struggling right now, but you can expect things to get 
better. Everything is working out. Look, your ambitions are brewing. Something unexpected is coming. Stay vigilant. With the Six of Cups here, the universe is saying, just breathe. Just pause. Take it all in because it's going to get better. You know, she's sitting there and it's like the lotus blooming from the murky depths. You have been through the worst of it and now you are rising up like a lotus from the murky depths till the sun touches your petals and you bloom. So looking at the six of cups, you know, we have a beautiful message here of, you know, hope and support. So the universe is saying, don't give up hope things are going to come through. You're going to receive, you know, the charity, the support, the goodwill, the assistance, whatever it is, something's coming. A gift of assistance in some way is coming. You know, a helping hand, an unexpected opportunity, whatever it is, it's going to improve your financial situation. And just like the card says, you know, the universe is whispering to you, breathe. Yes, you are in the storm, but right now you need to find your calm. And yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's challenging. And it might feel like, you know, you're lost at sea without a compass. But the universe is asking you to please trust that you will find your way to shore and that this moment of hardship is not your forever. So breathe. You know, finding peace within the chaos of whatever it is you're dealing with specifically. You know, and the universe is saying, slow down, take a deep breath and center yourself. Being panicked, being worried, being extreme, being emotional is not going to help you get through this storm. You know, clarity and calmness are your allies right now. They're your allies in helping you spot this goodwill, charity, support, opportunity, whatever it is that the universe is aligning for you. So breathe. You have the confirmation here on the table. It's 100% confirmed. Something unexpected is coming. Stay vigilant. The universe is hinting, you know, that you are not expecting whatever this stroke of luck is, whatever this stroke of charity is, whatever this is, you're not expecting it but it's coming. So keep your eyes wide open and your spirit ready because the winds of change are blowing in your favor. You know, and it says it right here, whatever it is you've been striving for, working for, whatever it is for you specifically, your ambitions are brewing. So, you know, take a sip and get to work, meaning Focus your energy properly, not on panic, not on worry, on solutions. This is a very powerful nudge from the universe to start preparing for what's next. Your dreams and ambitions have not been forgotten. Actually, what this is saying is they've actually been simmering, waiting for the right moment to come to a boil. So now is the time to reignite your passion, your spark, put in the work of whatever it is you want to do, lay the groundwork for your aspirations because the universe is saying, it's already yours, it's coming, just breathe. You know, whatever it is you're going through, this is not the end of your story. It's actually the beginning of a new chapter. This was the darkness, now you're moving into the light. You turn the page, I just heard it, turn the page. Bob Seeger, somebody likes Bob Seeger, or you are being recommended to listen to Bob Seeger. Turn the page. Oh, I am getting chills. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Once you turn that page, you're going to emerge, you know, you're going to just emerge so much stronger, so much wiser, and so much more aligned with your purpose. So the universe is saying, you know, your current hardships are but a chapter. In this epic saga you call life. So stay resilient, stay hopeful, and keep your heart open to the abundance the universe is about to pour into your life. I can see it coming toward you. It's like a tidal wave of prosperity. You have struggled, and now you are going to walk in abundance. Claim it, believe it, know it. Write it in the comments. It's my time. 
and things are going to work out for me now and forever. Claim it. Trust in your journey. Trust in the universe. And most importantly, trust in yourself. This is not forever. This is just the end of this chapter. Turn the page because great things are coming for you. Wow, what a reading card one. Oh my goodness. Thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading. Welcome, card two, to your reading. Let's see what the universe wants to share. Unending demands, resilience, self-care, and seek support. I want you to take in this image of how overwhelmed this energy is. This is what it's saying you are currently going through. So I definitely feel like you're at a pivotal moment where the weight of the world feels like it's just on your shoulders. You're juggling, you know, so many tasks so many chores. It's like endless work, endless obligations. And honestly, it's truly understandable why you feel overwhelmed and probably pretty unhappy about that. So I can definitely feel this energy is like reaching what feels like a breaking point. It feels like you've hit the wall. You can't go any further. You don't know what to do. It is a very heavy Oh my goodness. So let's get some more cards to see what the universe is trying to tell you. You know, what is coming, what to expect, what to do. Let's have the universe give us some feedback on um, this current energy that you're in. Universe, please share with us what you would like us to know about this. Ooh, the sun card reversed. So definitely darkened days, depression, pessimistic, negative, unhappy. Yeah, just a lot of shadow in your life. It's heavy. Poised. Ooh, so this is saying you're keeping your composure even though you're stressed and overwhelmed. Many may not be able to ac actually see how heavy the weight is on your shoulders. And I just heard keeping up appearances. They are attracted to your light for all the wrong reasons. Ooh, so it really feels like you're being taken advantage of. Somebody is really taking more than giving is the way this receives. And of course, that's like a shadow. It's overshadowing you, which is causing, you know, the sun in your life to be reversed, of course, because you're not feeling great about life at this moment because of everything that you have on your shoulders. So... Yeah, with the sun card reverse, this is like, you know, a cloud, a dark cloud hovering over your spirit. It's like depression, pessimism, you know, generally a negative outlook seems to have taken a hold of your energy. And the universe is acknowledging your hard work and the challenges that you face, but it's also nudging you toward a crucial realization. This burden you're shouldering might not be entirely yours to bear. So I feel like they are attracted to your light for all the wrong reasons as someone is taking advantage of you. Someone could be helping you, you know, balance this out, but they're not. So I feel like the message here is really profound and it's very personal. You know, it's as if someone in your life is drawing all of your energy away from you like they're an energy vampire. And it, it's one of these energies that begs to question, why endure this imbalance? There's a realization that needs to come into play here. You know, why allow someone to take advantage of your light, your generosity? You know, basically pushing you ever closer to the edge of burnout. You've been maintaining your composure, right? You've been holding it down. You're rock solid as far as being a beast when it comes to working. But the question is, at what cost? You're burning out, which means it's going to affect your health. It's going to affect your emotions. It's definitely going to affect you spiritually. 
So the universe has basically, you know, led you to this reading, not to scold you, not in any way, but to remind you of your worth and to remind you that you deserve boundaries and then to ask you, why are you settling less than you deserve? Why would you ever settle for less than you deserve? You know, the message is clear. You cannot pour from an empty vessel and that's what's happening. It's almost empty, your vessel. It's time for you to prioritize self-care, you know, to basically look at that sun card reversed and think about what that's saying. The sun is not out. This is the time for you to rediscover the warmth of the sun within you. You're barren, you're empty, you're, you're cold and desolate right now because there's no warmth filling you. You know, you need to allow the healing rays of the sun to rejuvenate your spirit. So you have to remove whatever the cloud is that's causing the sun not to shine in your life anymore. You know, look at these cards, the cards drawn here on the table, unending demands. It really paints a vivid picture of your current state and also the path forward. If you do nothing, this is your future as well as your present and your past. So there is like this energy of acknowledging this, you know, recognizing what you're putting out and what you're not getting back. You know, these, these cards are like, um, like a call to action to take care of yourself, to seek the support you need and the support you deserve. You do not deserve to be holding it down all alone. This is not a path that you are supposed to be walking alone when there's people around you. You know, the sun reversed is also kind of like a beacon of hope in disguise. I know that sounds probably crazy, but in the context of this reading, it really kind of is. It's a reminder that, you know, although your situation, you know, may seem bleak, the power to change your perspective and invite joy back into your life actually is within you. You have the power. You just have to get away from whatever this dark cloud is and demand respect, demand balance. You know, allowing yourself to be open to receive those types of energies. Because for some of you, I feel like you might have almost the stubbornness and pride it might have to do with pride. I can do it. I can hold it down. I don't need you. I don't need this. I don't, I can do it all. But why should you have to? Why should you have to is the question. Yes, most of us can hold it down. I can hold it down. But why should I have to? Why should you have to? You know, there's clarity in this. If you're willing to ask these really deep questions, why are you not expecting more for yourself? You know, they're drawn to your light for the wrong reasons because you cater to them. I feel like this imbalance of like this person is almost like a child to you and you're a parent to them, even though they may not be your actual biological child. That's what this energy is feeling like. Like you have the burden to bear because it's just you as like the only adult in the room. So yeah, the universe is very clear with this message. You need to reassess your connections and remember your energy is precious. It is imperative at this time to surround yourself with people who actually appreciate you and give back. Seek balance so that you can get the sunlight in your life once again. I heard it just now. The universe is saying, remember your worth and don't settle for less. Wow, what a reading. Oh my. So definitely, if, if you chose this card and this key, take heed to what the universe is telling you because the universe is saying you deserve better than this and you can make these changes. You just have to stand in your power and believe you deserve balance. So thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading. Welcome card three to your reading. Let's see what the universe wants to share with you. So we have single parenthood, unconditional love, exhaustion, 
and resilience, taking this image. So this is telling me that you are shouldering the weight of something very significant all by yourself, and it's definitely wearing you down. You have unconditional love, and you're willing to give it your all, but you are also exhausted and so, so tired. That's what I'm feeling here. So I definitely feel like the universe wants you to know that you are, you know, like the universe is basically recognizing that you are navigating a particularly challenging chapter in your life. You know, with this card coming out first, it's clear that you've been shouldering a lot of responsibility on your own. You know, whether that's raising children or even caring for elderly parents, because I'm being shown that, um, where you're taking care of an elderly parent. For someone, you're actually taking care of both of your parents. Um, so your dedication is evident. You know, your love truly knows no bounds, but it's also clear that you're feeling overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. It's all coming to the surface. You know, and you might have even been asking yourself, like, why me? Why am I going through all of this? Why is this happening? It's very heavy. It's very daunting. But I can feel the power of your love. You are, it's beautiful what you represent. Like you're giving it your all. And even though you're tired, you're not going to stop. I can feel it. You're like, no, this is my job. I feel like you're like, for someone, I, I literally hear mama bear, like, you know, I'm going to do that. I can do this. I got this. But you shouldn't have to. You know, you shouldn't have to. And I'm very curious as to where this reading is going to go. So let's get some more cards just so we can see what the universe is trying to tell us about this situation that you're going through. All right, universe, tell us what you would like us to know about this. Oh my goodness, four of swords reversed. See, burnout, collapse, and not taking care of yourself. Confirmation. Confirmation. Oh my, whoa, these cards are jumpy. Okay, so we have higher power in reverse. You might actually be asking the universe, why are you doing this to me? We have building blocks in reverse, and we have community. So your foundations are not stable. Yes, and you have community coming through, so there is support around you. We have truth's sharp edge. Honesty may wound, but it also heals. That is specific for someone. I just heard it. That's specific. Take that for face value, because that's going to resonate for someone who's watching this. I can feel it. Like, you know you have to do it, even though it's going to wound, it's actually going to heal. Wow, that just sprung out of nowhere. Wow, so this is a very interesting um, grouping of cards here. So with the Four of Swords reversed, this is really, you know, like a powerful reminder that you're actually on the brink of an awakening. You know, this card speaks to like the necessity of emerging from isolation, whatever it is you're dealing with specifically alone, okay, that it's going to vary, but like single parenthood, you're going at it alone. And so this card kind of highlights that it's really important that you don't do that. You have community on the table as well. So it's kind of like a confirmation of both, you know, rejoining basically the world and not just for the sake of, you know, relying, but also healing your mind, being able to get out of whatever this energy is in single parenthood, the isolation, the going at it alone, however it applies to your life specifically. And the reason this is important is because with the four of swords reversed, you are at risk of burnout. It's real. You know, if you continue to ignore the signs of your mental and your emotional overload, like you are going through something very significant mentally and emotionally. Yes, you're carrying it. Yes, you're holding it down. Yes, you might be a mama bear or some fierce lion daddy, however it applies to you, okay? But you still have to face your humanness, okay? This card is like a beacon of hope because it's actually signaling that recovery and healing are not only possible, they're eminent. It's coming. You have to. It's a call to action, okay? You have to do this 
or you're going to break down, you have to take care of yourself. So this card coming in first after single parenthood is basically a call to action to take care of yourself, to find moments of rest, you know, um, to lower your stress and anxiety levels before you reach your breaking point. And you might be thinking right now, because I just heard it, I don't have time. I don't have the luxury of resting, okay? So I know somebody just thought that. I don't have the luxury. I've gone at it with single parenthood. I definitely can feel that vibe. I understand what you're going through. You're like, I don't have a choice, right? But community is sitting here on the table, okay? You do have someone. You do have some way. Maybe you're not reaching out yet, okay? But look at how these cards branched out. We've got higher power in reverse. You might have feel, you honestly, you might truly feel like the universe has forsaken you with whatever it is you're going through. You might have an issue right now with the way that you see source or God or however you want to put the label on that term, whatever it is for you specifically, you might feel like you've been abandoned because higher power is in reverse. Okay. And you know, you might be feeling like you'll never see the light of day with the building blocks here in reverse. However, that's not the case. The community is upright. Okay. And the truth's sharp edge. You're not alone. You might feel alone, but you're not alone. Okay. So the universe is saying it's time to work through this. You might feel like you're destined for struggle, but the universe is whispering a very different story to you in this reading. You are in fact surrounded by support unseen possibly, but ever present, you know, and maybe that support is waiting for you to reach out and tap into it. Maybe that's the step. Maybe there's pride, ego, some sort of sorrow from the past, whatever it is specific, some sort of trauma. I just heard trauma. People have let you down. So you don't let them close. You're not vulnerable. And the universe is saying, this is a lesson. This is a test. What are you going to do with it? You know, community and truth, the truth's sharp edge is actually like guiding lights, both of them, the community and truth's sharp edge. It's like these little lights. You're not alone. The truth may hurt, but it also heals. You're not alone. There are people, you know, perhaps you can't see them right now, but they're there. And when you're ready and you're willing to see things differently, they will be willing to offer you support you need. They will be there with you without some sort of hidden agenda. I just heard hidden agenda, agenda ulterior, motive. So someone has dealt with that. But the universe is very clear. It's time to lean into your community. I just heard family. You've been distant from your family, but they're going to open their arms to receive you, to help you, to embrace you. You know, yes, you might have some distance between you and, and this group of people, but something's going to be resolved. You know, and the universe is telling you, despite the hardships, you have inner strength and external resources to overcome your challenges. Your situation is not a sentence, you know, not a sentence for like lifelong struggle, but this is a phase that you are equipped to navigate through because there are lessons you need to learn. The key to this lies in recognizing your own resilience, you know, recognizing that seeking and accepting support does not represent weakness because I can feel that for someone you feel weak when you have to ask for help. Wow, that was really painful in my chest. Like, I felt my heart actually hurt with that one. Like, you feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you're worthless if you have to ask for help. But you need to understand that is not the case. Vulnerability is actually a strength. And also, it's really important to understand that self-care is not selfish, but essential and necessary. You can't fill from an empty vessel. So if you're empty, how in the world are you going to take care of anybody else? You can't. So it's very, very, very clear what the universe is saying. If you chose this card and this part of the reading, this journey is tough. Okay. No doubt. The universe is acknowledging that you are not being ignored. You are not being forgotten. Yes, it's tough, but it's also shaping you into someone who is even more remarkable because you can adapt and overcome. You can get through anything, but you're not alone. So you don't have to do this alone. Yes, you're strong enough to do it, but you don't have to. So look around, reach out and let the community in, let someone in. It might be one person. It might be a group of people. It's going to vary for everyone, but you're going to know 
You're going to know what you need. Let it come to you. Take the time to heal, to rest, so that you can prepare for brighter days. Because they're coming. The universe has not forsaken you. Trust in the universe. But most importantly, more than anything, trust in yourself. And know that you're going to get through this. You're not alone and you're stronger than you realize. And more than anything, that's what the universe wants you to know at this time. You're going to get through this. But the first step is to overcome this resistance to letting people in. Don't just open the door and be like, welcome. Take it step by step. Crack the door open and talk to them through that little crack in the door. Open it a little further. Take it day by day. Actions speak louder than words. So let other people's actions tell you the story and only let those close to you that align words with actions. I feel like that's very imperative at this time. The universe wants you to know that for sure. Definitely acknowledge actions speak louder than words and your community is around you. So reach out and let them lift you up and support you. You deserve it. Wow, what a reading. Um, so thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.